Uh, all right. So uh, this is Conscious of Crazy in the sense of knowing what's right, what's wrong, versus of anything on sound mind. Conscious said, I have members of the family. I don't do guests. Um, I just, you know, I find distant relatives out here sometimes. Say that, you know. So um, for the people, you know, I've been kind of damn near doing a series, you know, pretty much on functional relationships, and you know, and you know, best to have queens on here, you know, for the point of view. So definitely, uh, both of y'all, y'all can introduce yourself to the people. Get this thing started. Awesome. Greetings, everyone. My name is B. Nicole. I'm super grateful to be here sharing this space with you. Thank you for the invitation. I'm excited. I'm excited to talk about some things. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And um, I'm Elsie Frazier. I'm excited as well. I love talking about functional uh, things, healthy relationships me and V are definitely all about that um and we try to create spaces to do that so we're grateful to be here yeah i might call this one just to keep it simple just good vibes only um <laughs> yeah. uh so you know the first question you know um to just to dive into it i guess who who communicates better you know men or you know women who, who communicates better to y'all and you know i'm gonna give my point of view for the fellas man i got to i gotta keep it real today <laughs> yeah. i feel like um i mean i feel like uh i feel like men we got a certain way of communicating we we communicate to get things done i feel like sometimes emotional communication ain't there for certain men like my grandfather for example he didn't talk much <laughs> But what's y'all thoughts? Uh, y'all feel like y'all communicate better? I just feel like it's actually, y'all use more words than this. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> like 20 mm -hmm. <laughs> in a day. We don't use too many words. <laughs> we keep it simple, man. Yeah. B, go ahead. I know you got this. <laughs> oh, I think. Let me see. Rose, uh, well, I, then I'll jump in. I'll tag team so that she can get a, her connection get stable. But um, I always approach these kind of questions very diplomatically, hence lots of words. Huh. Um, Who communicates better, men or Oh, I think I hear my girl. I think I hear her coming back in. Yeah. Oh, I thought I heard her. B, we're listening. We don't hear you. Um. All right, I don't know if she can hear us, but I'm gonna try to try to bring this some justice to this answer. Um, I think that one, I think it always boils down to the individual to determine who who communicates better. I can, I don't think it's as simple as breaking it down by gender, oh, yeah. right? It all depends on who you are, how you were raised, your life experiences, the self work you've put in. That's gonna determine if you're a better communicator than the person standing across from you, right? Um, so, yeah. um, yeah, but if I had to pick, I'm gonna go with the ladies. I'm gonna go with the ladies. Hey, some of y'all can't do that. <laughs> Dude, you're right. You're so right. It's like, yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here. It's no, it's no conversation. <laughs> like some, I feel I like I've been that woman. Oh, yeah, I feel like everybody's been there. I used to not talk at all. I was a cool, laid back kid. I didn't say much. <laughs> and now I do this. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, man. Do this. I use, I like touch my eyebrows when I'm like, uh, I don't know what to say. But yeah, no, I was the same way. I didn't talk. My parents would tell you, I took about a year and a half off from talking as a child. I said, yeah, no, I'm good. I don't want to talk that much because I felt like that's all I did. But um, if I'm going to go with ladies as being better communicators, I'm only going to and trust, like hear my first response. I think it depends on the individual. Like know that. That's my yeah. disclaimer. But as ladies, from the time we're born, we are, you know, taught to be nurturers. And people would say we're nurturers by nature. But we are taught to cater to our family members. That's the first thing we start learning. How do I help mama and daddy around the house? Who do I have to get to know? Like, how do I learn my brother's personality, my daddy's personality? And we start picking up on these social cues and emotional cues very early in life. And I think that that kind of just stays with us as we mature into womanhood. 
Yeah, I I agree. Um, definitely. Um, sometimes like I'm I'm one of the dudes like I'm I don't want to argue with nobody, <laughs> and I feel like. I feel like, yeah, I'm one of the dudes. I'd I'd rather walk out, you know, have my few points out them. Like this can go into something. Hey, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna just take a walk. Like I feel like, yeah, I feel like uh let's see. Hey yeah, girl. I'm- Hi. <laughs> my bad, y'all. I think I'm back. I think I'm back in service. I think we're good now. Yeah. Where did we leave off? I uh, We're waiting. do you feel do you feel men communicate better or do you feel uh you know the queens communicate better? I think it depends on the individual. <laughs> I think <laughs> we have, I think we have some men who are are great at communicating. Um, I think we have some women who are great at communicating. I think we have some men and some women who are trash at communicating. Yes, yes, sir. It's a lot out there. <laughs> I, I think it varies on the person, the amount of work that they have done um, on themselves, um, how I much they know of- themselves and what they want, all of that good stuff. It's a lot of elements that go into play, but yeah. Yeah, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Yeah. That's how committed we are to this. Because she, she literally said almost everything I said. Like, mm. So I got a twist. Do y'all feel like, I feel like men, we have conversation, a lot more conversation. Do you, I feel like, I mean, I think it's a thin line between good conversations and good gossip. Do you agree? I feel like women have a lot of more gossip than men. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Open the fair out here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that. You know, I, I I I don't know either, but I do. As a I come from a family of gossipers, and I love my family. I love them, and I thought for a long time that's all women did. And I only had two female friends for a long time because I was like, I don't, I was not encountering women who would have just good holistic conversations and so I do think there is a large number of women who gossip because that is something gossip is passed down like that behavior is passed down some people only get together to gossip you ever been in a situation where you get together and you there to like really talk about growth talk about what's happening talk about what you're working on and they only talking about what honey boo boo did last week exactly (laughs) you know what I'm saying I mean, y'all so heard what Pookie do, did. <laughs> it's like, Pookie, what Pookie did? <laughs> it's like, yeah. I don't care about Pookie or Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's, it's definitely a thin line. And yeah, that's something I think about. And, you know, I definitely had to post that one day. It's a thin line between good community, good conversations versus good gossip. I feel like we, we have both on a daily basis. I probably have some gossip sometimes, but I feel like I float the line. Everybody float the line, I feel, sometimes. Uh, that's a fact yeah all right man so the next one, man i mean i feel like i feel like we we definitely about to get into it man i'm about to really poke it in this one i feel like uh the women the women love good lies and bad boys i feel like y'all love <laughs> y'all love bad boys more than the film <laughs> it's like, i don't know man more than the what more than the film Bad Boy. Y'all love Bad Boys more than the movie. <laughs> All three of them. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> but no, the question is, do women love liars and prefer bad boys? I feel like it's I feel like y'all might love lies and bad boys. Some like um, this majority of it. Yes. I don't like liars. No, I don't, I don't like liars. I don't like men that lie. I don't really care for women who lie either because I feel like if you lie, you you fearful of something, you scary. Yeah. And I don't really respect that. <laughs> um, me personally, especially when dealing with a man, like we're doing this thing, you're my partner. We need to be completely authentic and transparent with each other at all times, partner, you know? That's how I'm going into it. Um, as far as bad boys, <laughs> I would say that I'm at an age now or at a period on my journey where I don't prefer a bad boy. I've been there, done that. I'm not looking to be in nobody's uh, police car. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not living that life anymore. I'm not with the scammy. None of that. That's, that, that, that's, that doesn't turn me on. But what I will say is that I do enjoy um, feeling protected by my man. He doesn't necessarily have to be a bad boy though. No. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? What do you think about that? 
with your two piece <laughs> I'm gonna be a little spicy right here and say I believe little girls like liars and bad boys yes, and I do believe that little girls can live within grown women they can live within us right um and if we haven't healed that little girl or you know uh reassured her that we can go through life in a healthier way then we're gonna gravitate towards liars and bad boys I, but I think a grown-ass woman who has done the work who is about her shit who is healthy whole who recognizes that it's a lot of ancient dudes in the world but it's also a lot of good quality men in the world she's gonna go for the good quality man mm-hmm. yeah and I feel like a uh, father figure is a key you know, hey, hey, stay away from his ass. <laughs> he ain't no good. <laughs> you know, yeah. I feel like it's a. Oh uh, yeah, I just feel like it's, it's definitely been a trend. I think it's it's a trend all the time. I feel like, I mean, it occurs. It's a it's a phase, really. You know, it's a phase. I feel. But some people, sure. I have. I mean, it's it's people that go through life with these bad boy, bad boys, and you end up in a life of misery and fuck. Oh, can I curse? <laughs> Misery <laughs> and fucking regret. Mm. I, I, I'm a mm-hmm. firm believer in your vibe attracts your tribe, whether it be oh, yeah. your sisterhood, mm-hmm. your in your brotherhood, whatever, whatever it is that you're dealing with within yourself, that's exactly what you're going to attract. So you've out here, if you out here on some fuck shit and you a bad girl, then not about to ten, you're going to attract a bad boy. Yeah, man, you want yes. Will Smith, Martin Lawrence type it. I, it's, yeah, it's like. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. It's all about the balance. And um, yeah. yeah, I've definitely been there too. Like, yeah, it's like, yeah, you want a certain type. You it's like, and then it's like, yo, this is the most dis- dysfunctional person I could ever build with. Like, I shouldn't go for this type. And <laughs> it's like, this is not a good idea. <laughs> it's like, nah, good and functional. Nah. It makes you wonder why it is that you were even able to attract that type of person, right? Yeah. Or even why you allow, because like I, I do agree that you attract what you are, but I also believe that what you allow to remain speaks volumes mm-hmm. to where you are and what you are, right? So why I question myself, why did I allow allow him to remain present in my life? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wanted that D. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I know it's so toxic. <laughs> uh, do, do women love? Uh, I mean, I feel like this this work is floated around a lot. Like uh, narcissists, <laughs> I'll be hearing that on the on the this on the rip. If he, this is if it's a disagreement, oh, he's a narcissist. Something wrong. Like, but I think it's a thin line between really holding people accountable. I feel like I hold people accountable to their word. I feel like word has always been born to me. Like I read the four agreements, so I'm taking the word for everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be responsible for your words. Uh, be impeccable with your words. I try to be that, and I feel like when somebody try to, you know, make throw me off the ship, like, nah, that ain't cool. You trying to make me be unimpeccable with my word? Ah, oh, man, I got to get away from you for a little bit. <laughs> Go back to my old ways. <laughs> <It's> like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. That's real. I mean, I think that, oh, the word narcissist, like I have dated a, uh, what is it called? Uh, um, formally diagnosed narcissist. And so I don't think, uh, I, I, I can't speak for all women, but I don't like narcissists. I don't, I feel for them because it is, if you clinically diagnose that there's a chemical imbalance that is happening, right? And there's also some mind work that you need to do. And I think that men are more privy to becoming narcissists only because of the way society conditions you. And I really feel for Black men because your ego is pumped up at such a young age because, you know, they do that because they want you guys to survive in the world. They don't want you to take no shit. They want you to be a man. You know, everybody's gunning for you. So you got to have pecs. You got to show yourself. And that can lead to some really unhealthy behavior and lead to a clinically diagnosed narcissist. And narcissists don't really have sympathy. So I don't fuck with, I, I have sympathy for them, yeah. but I don't, I cannot be with one. I, I wasn't born with that kind of strength to be with a narcissist. Yeah. It will drain you. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. I think it's a thin line because yeah, like once again, accountability. Like yeah, they, they have no sympathy. They're like nah, it's like nah, you, it's your fault. Like <laughs> it's like mm-hmm. one of my favorite shows is uh, 
for some reason I watch it. Um, it's called Power, and uh, <laughs> James St. Patrick has. Mm, mm. <laughs> He's fine but, though. Mm. That's my next question. Yeah, mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna, I'm saving that for other topic. <laughs> yeah, I feel like um, and then to tie it back, I feel like uh, to my other, I feel like who really controls relationships. I feel like every choice has an invoice. Like we choose to be who we, you know, who we're with. So I feel like you're kind of responsible for how a relationship functions, really. Both parties, I feel like. Like good or bad, like 70, 20, you know, I mean, not 70, 20, 80, 20, 80, 20. 70, 30, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like, what y'all feel about that? Who who really controls the relationship? I think that both individuals are equally responsible for maintaining and sustaining and nurturing and healing themselves. I think I think both both individuals who decide to to come together are responsible. I don't think it's one person is above the other person. No. I, I don't I don't I don't look at it that way. No. What do you think, LC? Oh, no. I'm, go ahead. Oh, no. I just agree. I just also wonder like if you really are sitting down thinking about who who controlled this relationship. That that makes me think that you still have some work to do. Exactly. Mm. Like mm. I do. I would pants. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> it's like, like yeah, that that pants. Just like, yo, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Say. What do you think? Um, I feel like yeah. I feel like every choice I have an invoice. Once again, I feel like uh, we're responsible to who we choose. And I, but I feel like men choose a certain women. I, I don't. Do y'all feel like women choose men necessarily? Like, like, check, like, hey, let me get your number. Like, does that interaction happen? too much it's like that that don't really happen on a daily basis it's always the opposite way so I feel like men kind of true choose who they want in their life and you know interactions and dating they they choose like so yeah I want to date you and I think it's not the opposite you know way around like women don't approach men on a daily basis you you really see that it's like let me get your number king like <laughs> it's like yeah. Yeah, that, I don't think, go ahead I think that even if a man were, were to approach uh me I still choose whether or not I want to engage. That is true. That is so true. it kind of goes back to like it, both true. individuals are responsible. Like you can approach me all day. That don't mean I have to take the bait, you mm-hmm. know. But if I feel as though I feel something, there's some type of connection or interest. Um, or I want to learn more about you. Then I'll say, all right, let's see what this is about. Yeah. Um, what were mm-hmm. you going to say, LC? Only, I was going to say something similar to that, but also I don't necessarily approach men, like holla at them, but I do make it known if I'm feeling you. Mm-hmm. If if you have not come over to me, especially like we're, if we're at a kickback, a small gathering, if I see a young man that I am interested in, I am going to make it known one way or another, honey. My energy going to speak. So I do still choose in my opinion, mm-hmm. uh, but I don't just, we don't do it as exactly. outwardly as you guys. It depends on the night. It depends Man, on the like, night where we at, what's going on. Because I might jump out there and say, hey, I want you. Come with me. Exactly. The Marvin Gaye joint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, the tie back, I, I, I do his name earlier. You know, Kevin Samuel, he started a conversation talking about the smile thing. And it's all about vibrations. And like you said, body language. If you're not feeling a brother. like, And it's shown in your face. Before he's like, before you approach, fellas, you got to pick up on these things, fellas. <laughs> like, fellas, we got to pick up on it. And same, for, uh, same for you know men too. Like some men give body language that they're not interested. I know I, I, I mean it's out there. I feel like I, I done it a couple times. Like, hey, I'm just chilling today. <laughs> like, what was going on? It's like, I'm not. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, leave me be. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm not not. Nah. But I feel like it's it's you know both sides. I feel like um, you got to pay attention to the little things. It's always the little things that we overlook like men definitely like we sometimes we we overlook everything like yo she got it on her face she don't like you dude what are you not <laughs> what are you not seeing <laughs> it's like she ain't come on man it's like you don't see it like yeah, all right you could pay for dinner but she still she didn't like you doing dinner <laughs> it's she like, wasn't gonna turn down that free food <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> but i do think on the flip side we as women we're so used to being sought after we don't always um, take kind to a man rejecting us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if, if, if we have taken the time to come over to you and to smile at you, yeah. it's to bat our eyelashes. And sometimes 
I'm not speaking on all women, but sometimes we may overlook the fact that men have a choice too. Like not every man wants me. Like, you know, just because I get hollered at 10 times a day don't mean that this young man who is fine wants me. And so we overlook things too sometimes and we all got to be held accountable for that shit. That's the fact. Yes, to, to poke the bed, have y'all ever experienced that rejection? What? Yes. <laughs> I feel like I feel like on a daily basis, you really don't hear too many stories because like men should off the rip, but some men's like, hey, um, you don't see this ring? <laughs> what are you what are you doing? <laughs> it's just like it's like now nah, I'm not interested. I'm sorry, but <laughs> but yeah. yeah. I feel like y'all, y'all have a couple, yeah. I feel like of course yeah. it happens to men on a daily basis. <laughs> that man hit me with a yeah, you know, my wife, and I'd be like, oh your wife like he'll purposely bring that up you know because i i'm big i flirt if i'm in the store and we happen to be looking at deodorant together i'm like yeah oh, you know like you know, like dove oh you like you know i'm just i'm like awkwardly always flirting if i'm interested and it, i've had a man bring up his wife yeah you know i'm actually looking for deodorant for my wife and i'm like look lucky her and that, that brings the other question I feel like it's known, but yeah, some women lie that they have a boyfriend. <laughs> when they're not interested, of course, like it happens. I don't. <laughs> oh, okay. Just I don't. Lie. I don't. Again, I feel as though if I'm lying, I'm scared, and I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't feel the need to lie. It's either I'm interested or I'm not. Like it's, it really is that that simple to to me. I mean, it's like I don't get tired of them being like. They'd be like, you know, they keep pressing, keep pressing. Like they keep you saying, no, I'm good. But why? Like, you know, like, let me take you out. I'm good, but you're so beautiful. You came out here looking like this. I know, like, you don't get tired of them constantly. Applying pressure more than J. Cole, man. You know, (laughs) I listened to it. I had to. I look like <laughs> yeah, I've had those moments before, but I kind of like turn it into a joke just do having a conversation with them. And then I kind of like ease my way on out, like, all right, it was nice talking to you. Bye. See ya. But I don't lie. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I got a boyfriend just to get about somebody off my body. Mm. Yeah. And a lot of the times, honestly, I really don't get hit on that much, like to a point where it's that's a that's a major thing. Cause I think I just have this aura where it's like I'm always like looking serious. So I don't get approached that often, yeah. which is lying. <laughs> Dudes, do you see her? <laughs> not that often. No. Behind, man. Yeah. <laughs> she's not lying. She she but she does get hit on because she's a beautiful young lady. So are you, my love? I love you so much. Thank you. I love you too. <laughs> does does the average female? I mean, average woman respect? Uh, you know, the average black man. And you feel like it's an imbalance of that going on? Because I feel like mm. on a daily basis, like, uh, it could be, you know, people go through situations, you know, trauma is definitely, uh, you know, healing is also always necessary, I feel like. So I feel like we carry that baggage and I don't know what y'all feel on that. I feel what, like it's not a community like it used can, to be. Can I ask a question? What is considered an average black man? I don't know, 50K a year. <laughs> Money. Are we, are we talking about finances? Nah, nah, I'm just playing. Nah. Oh. I <laughs> know, nah, nah, just an average day, man. Like, mailman, just chilling, you know, just just the average day, on a day, everyday basis. Like, is it mm. is it a, is it a communication? Is it a good rapport with each other? Just period. Just not, not, not romantically, just is it a good rapport? Do we do we respect each other? As a community. Like, if, if okay. a brother in line is like, hey, queen, how you doing? It's like, don't say nothing. Like, it's like, damn, what's up with her? And then I feel like it, can a queen check her? Like, yo, he just being nice. He ain't trying. To, he married. Look at this ring on his finger. <laughs> like, what, what y'all feel about that? Is it a balance of respect? Not even romantic. Nothing. Like, we don't have to flirt to be nice to our women. You know, it's a community thing at the end of the day. Um, I, I think I can only speak on where I'm at in life. And I think that is definitely a lot of respect. If you had asked me this question maybe six years ago, I would probably say no. So I can only like akin it to either my development or my 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 desire to wake up because I love black men. I do. Mm. I love y'all. Black bronze men. I love y'all. And I think it's good. Like, you know, I'm from Chicago and I went and spent six months in Chicago and I loved it because I was just like, 
I was seeing the mailman that I saw as a child. He's still the mailman. I was like, what's up, Bruce? You know, I was so like, they was holding the door for, open for me when I went to the store and it was all love. So I do think that that, respects, that respect is present, but I, I know that it all depends on where you are in the journey. And you said, can another queen check a queen? I think she can if she chooses to, because I do think we only learn by, you know, having mentors and having those experiences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. As, I want to piggyback off that real quick, LC. As far as like a queen check-in, I think leading by example, uh, the energy that that queen radiates, ha having another woman see that interaction, see how she maneuvers in a room, see how she uh, collaborates and communicates with a king, you know, our brothers. I think that that sets the tone and maybe the next time it will inspire her to check herself and, and her energy that she's... Uh, giving off to other people. Um, to, to answer the first question, I agree with LC. Absolutely, it depends on who the person is and where they are on their journey. If you are doing the work, if you are doing the healing work, then you automatically radiate a different type of light and loving and open energy. Like you want that community. You want to uh, uh, embrace your brothers, embrace your melanated kings and you want them to do the same. And they naturally do that because that's, it's the energy exchange, you know? Um, and that could be the janitor, the mail, the mailman, whomever, the president, the CEO. It's just, it's just about having a mutual respect. And I do feel as though I get a lot of love from our kings, and I'm super grateful because I love them. Exactly. That's the thing. Like we gotta heal, and yeah, healing is important. And if you're not healed, you're gonna be disrespectful and have a negative frequency, you know. And yeah, that's gonna happen. Like she ain't gonna be smiling, and you at the age you might get punched by some point. You know, get out my face, nigga. It's like, it's like, it's like, but yeah. Um, do you real quick? Do you feel respected as a I definitely, definitely. Uh, but I feel like serve some environments. Uh, not as much. Not as much as others. I feel like some some environments. Nah. Yeah. I feel like, mm. of course, this environment. Yeah. But like other environments, like finding my my vibe, I mean my tribe outside of Ohio, like it's a lot more respect out there. Like <laughs> I feel like I'm noticing, like yeah, it's it's it's, it's scattered respect out here. It's like it's not, but yeah, it's you know vibe, the tribe, relationships are built. You know, family structure is key. Like, you never know what people yeah. go through. Yeah, love it. That's a fact. Well, on here, we look like. We got like eight minutes, but I think I'm gonna log back out and do it again. But uh, let's see what we can get to in eight minutes. I'm gonna edit this out, of course. Uh, <laughs> so let me see this. Um, why do? Why do? Because I understand this happens. I I feel like it's important to do it and try it. Um, why do women put good men in friend zone? Like, and but would y'all put Michael B. Jordan ass in the friend zone? Amari Harrick? I don't know them. I don't know them. I do exactly. not know them. Like how we only know you're a good man if we know you, or right. like if we've had interactions or enough energy exchange to determine sure. that. And quite frankly, I'm gonna just put it simple, and then B, I'm gonna let you take it. Okay. I'm only gonna put you in the friend zone if I just don't want you. If exactly. I want you, then. If I don't want you romantically, right? Exactly. That's just as simple. I'm gonna break it down to just as simple as as hormones. Like if my pheromones ain't matching with yours, and I don't feel that one that sexual chemistry. Not saying that that's the main thing that matters, but it does matter. Yes, it does. If I don't feel that sexual chemistry, I don't feel that emotional and mental stimulation in that way on that level of intimacy. Then I am gonna friends on you, and that's no disrespect to you. Yeah, not everybody is meant to, um, you know. Yeah, exactly. Some people are meant to be business partners. I talked about it previously. Some some people ain't meant to really be, um, you know, in a relationship. Yeah, so unnecessarily. We, we can collaborate and build in different ways. And hey, you never know. Through our collaboration, friend, you might end up meeting your 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 person. You know. Uh, but again, once again, I agree with my sister wholeheartedly. Like if it ain't matching, if we don't have that mental connection, if I don't feel as though, ooh, I want that inside of me and around me, then friend zone, you go. We can collaborate and build in a different kind of way. If yeah. you are open to that. If not, then it's all good. I appreciate the time spent. Yeah. Would y'all put a brother like, like 
this is hypothetical. Like, yeah, but y'all wouldn't put Denzel Washington in the friend zone, though. I don't know him. Who better blues exactly? All right, it's hypothetical. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> More better blues are okay, all right. I don't put anybody in the friend zone immediately, but I also don't put you in a romantic zone immediately. Oh, yeah, of course. But some you know men, what I mean? But I feel like y'all know who y'all want to be with off the rip vibrations. Like, I'm not putting him in the friend zone, but him, he can he could come tonight and <laughs> call me, like, knock on the door. Like, I feel like that's that's a real thing. Yeah, but that's, like, only if we have exchanged energy. Well, like, I mean, yeah, obviously. I mean, okay, sure. If I see a fine man... um, you know, on television, in the back of my mind, my homegirl voice is like, he could get it. Mm -hmm. But it's like B says, like, I don't know him, though. He could walk right. into my apartment and the, the actual energy exchange might be like, oh, like exactly. mm -mm, you, mm, right? So it all, yeah, I don't know, B, I don't know. I already said what I said. <laughs> I, I, listen, I got to, I don't shooter, know, man. I don't know till I know. <laughs> when I know, I know. And if I don't know, then it's a no, <laughs> you know? If you know, like, you know, definitely. If, if I yeah. know, I know, yeah. Yeah, I feel like it is good men. Some are in the friend zone for a reason, but I feel like some are in the friend zone because they, once again, to tie it back, they might like the bad boys. They might, they like the men that ain't good for them, but you got a good man on your side. Yeah. It's like, but yeah, I feel like, I feel like we got to, I feel like overall, I think uh, probably just look into good men that are all your friends, like, don't be quick to put them in the friend zone because you could be missing out on a good thing. Like, damn, like, yo. And then you single because you, you've been messing with Tyrone's of the world. <laughs> you, know? you know, yeah, it's like, it's something to think about, you know. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like that happens. And I feel like it happens too much maybe sometimes. But No, it does happen. And I have definitely put good men in the friend zone, back, especially back in the day, like 19, 20, 18 year old B. Nicole. Yeah, I was I was with some I was I was on some other stuff. I was on a different wavelength then. I I wanted the bad boy. You know, I wanted to have an adventure. Um, but now it's no. Like I said, I don't really have time for that. You know, if we vibe, we vibe, we're gonna see what comes comes of it. Mm. If we don't vibe, we're not gonna vibe. And I'm gonna place you in whatever category I see fitting in the moment. Yeah. And I think if you're going to friends on somebody, you need to also recognize that they may not sit around waiting for you. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? You have to be conscious of that. You you mm -hmm. you you lay in the bed that you make. And to be whole honest, mm. some men, we don't want to be your friend, really. Like, <laughs> it's like, some, like, yeah, let's speak for the fellas. Like, you know, some some women, yeah, you have a good rapport with that. Yeah, they're good friends. Like some some women, yeah, but some women. Uh, some women fellas don't want to be friends with like strictly they, they one minded it's like nah uh, nah you want to be friends because uh, yeah, friend zones kill a man like yo uh, like, homie made a song about it friend zone salute the D night uh, <laughs> you know but yeah um, yeah the friend zone everybody joke about it. it's like yeah man you don't want to be that it's like oh, oh bro it's over for you and <laughs> go elsewhere <laughs> it's like, how, how, how does it feel I mean I don't know if you've ever been um, placed in the friend zone but how does it feel as a man being placed in the friend zone, how does uh, it feel for y'all? Just off the rip, you just know that it's like, yeah, she's not interested in me. Like, you can try everything. It's like, you can, you know, make you can make a thousand jokes. You could give good vibes off. You could be flirty. You could be, you could give her flowers, but she don't like you. Friend zone, like it, it hurts. So we just got to move on. And plus the male ego, oh man, <laughs> it'd be crushed. Like what? <laughs> yeah, I just see you as a friend. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> it's like, but I like you, Shaniqua. <laughs> <It's like, laughs> like, but yeah, I mean it's a real, it's a real thing. But I feel like um I feel like friendships can make good partnerships and good marriages too, at the end of the day, too, on the flip side. Yeah. yeah. You That's always I just I always wonder like why it makes me just think on how society has really conditioned a lot of our our mentalities because there's so many men walking around thinking that they have a right to me. They have a right to me. Just because I like you, I have a right to you. Exactly. <laughs> nah, <laughs> like that. Okay. And I wish that we lived in a world where we were taught it's okay. If she doesn't like you, it's not the end of the world. She's not being mean to you. She hasn't done anything wrong, actually. It just wasn't there. Because there's going to come a day where you a woman likes you and you don't like her, but you're going to expect her to understand yeah. immediately. Exactly. Yeah. So exactly. it just, 
Exactly. And then um, Zodiac's a key. Like sometimes, like I've been doing birth charts, like, oh damn, we we lined up. We ain't supposed to even talk. <laughs> so what are we doing? <laughs> it's like, yeah, damn, your your son is in Sagittarius. Like, oh man. <laughs> it's like Zodiac. Oh shoot. <laughs> it's like the Zodiac's are real, man. Like Virgo, like, oh man, Virgo, yeah. It's like, yeah. I feel like that's a that's an important tool to use too, because um I definitely been finding a lot of things out for that from that. So let's see. I think we down on a minute. So I'm gonna pause it and okay. see what happens. And I guess we could join back in again. Here so cool, cool, cool. Same link, right? It's got like two questions left. So yeah, same link. Right, okay. So. Awesome. Pause.